set for Bakersfield Comic Con. It's this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, and we have a preview exclusive here to Eyewitness News all the way from Little House of the Prairie and JAG. We have Patrick Laberto joining us. Thank you so much for coming hey, my in. My pleasure, man. Thank you for having me. But before we get to this, we need to talk to the man behind Bakersfield Comic Con, Mr. Steve Wyatt. And Steve, hey. I, gotta, I gotta say thank you so much. You're bringing in huge talent coming in this weekend and there's more than just oh, Patrick. So many more. For Little House we have nine members of, of Little House on the Prairie coming. Well is this like a, re by the way, is that a reunion yes. for you? Oh it's a huge reunion. I, I'm, we're talking about uh, Hersha Parody who played my mom on the show. We're talking about the twins who played baby Carrie, uh, Carrie and baby Grace. Grace. We're talking about Ketty Lester. What? We're talking about, uh, well, there, I, I mentioned Hersha, Hersha, and then there is uh, Pam Roy Lance. Uh -huh. Pam and was a last minute add-in. Of course, add -in. Dean nope. Butler. Dean who Butler, played, Almanzo. Uh, Almanzo. What about your brother? Because I know your brother was on the show, My too. brother, I, which everybody loves. He played Albert. He's yeah. wonderful. He doesn't really do these. He's a very shy guy. And when you're doing conventions, huh. it's not about being shy. It's about you know getting out there and saying hey to everybody and wanting and you know well Matthew to shake hands and stuff. We miss you, Matthew. <laughs> uh, Steve, so what else besides Little House of the Prairie and of course Patrick? What else is going on at Comic Con? Well, actually, we've expanded this year. We're going into Building Two also. Um, the gaming section of Campus Gamers is coming in with like 25. Um, suitcases full of you know xboxes and stuff we're actually going to have um cabinets there to play with our artist alley has expanded um we got some great comic book guests um eric shanower who did all the oz books dan brereton um we've got so we've got some great comic book so guests if you're not in just uh, <coughs> the, the comics you want to meet some of the artists, of course. Uh, you can dress in your best attire. We get, oh, yeah, absolutely. have contests, right, for yeah. the best gear? Well, on Saturday, we have the over-16 costume contest, and on Sunday, we have the under-16. So we actually wow. have two costume contests, one each day. Um, we have a mini Renaissance fair that goes on. Um, and now, when you come out of the box office, moving the buildings, you're in the show. So, so I mean, everything's right there. And now, i got to get you to Patrick. Uh, Patrick, so... Not only a little house, but people mm -hmm. are going to come to you. They recognize you from JAG. 204 episodes, but I got to call you out. <laughs> it was like two nights ago. I'm watching NCIS, and you're playing a different character. And isn't yeah. NCIS a spinoff of JAG? And what's that? Isn't NCIS a spinoff yeah, of JAG? Yeah, NCIS is a spinoff, NCIS LA. Anything with NCIS on it. So are is you a selling out on your character? What's no, the deal? No, no, no. <laughs> I can't sell out on Bud. Bud's amazing. I love Bud. Uh, but no, they, they called me and they said, hey, we want you to play this other character. And so we did. So we grew the beard out and, you know, tried to convince people that I wasn't Bud, but I, I don't know. You kind of <laughs> can see well, the it. Difference, yeah. it. When you played Bud on JAG, you actually lost your leg in like the second to last season. Yeah. How did that go, playing a, a role like that? for like two, two, two years. Well, it was amazing because obviously it happened probably in the eighth, I think seventh or eighth mm -hmm. season. And at that point then I'm playing something completely different. Um, I got to deal with a lot of the veterans who had suffered injuries in uh, you know, Iraq and, and all these different conflicts. And working with those people and talking to them and understanding and wanting to tell that story because they did spend a lot of time telling the story yeah. about the experience of someone who has gone through that, and that was really rewarding. Well, I, I want to I want to give you a little trivia. How many spinoffs of Jag are there? Because I feel like it's still going on television right now. Can do you know how many there are? I don't know by number, but anything with NCIS is a spinoff. And then there was another show called First Monday, which well was a one season Supreme Court show that was also in the Jag universe. And then an unknown spinoff that was made for the show, but they never picked up, was a, a show called Jag San Diego. Wow. Which was going to be the following show after Jag, which they decided not to do. It was going to focus on uh, Colonel McKenzie. This is one more final thought of that. Uh, what's next for you? Uh, right now I'm writing a show, trying to sell it to the networks, but otherwise just acting and, you know, picking up jobs where I can. All right. Uh, I, I, Buy it, somebody. Patrick Labbit to everybody. <laughs> we have more next hour. John Noble joining us. Of course, come to Bakersfield Comic Con. You can meet Patrick himself yeah. and the whole Little House in the Prairie gang. We'll be right back. <laughs>